Hello, New Wave of British Heavy Metal.com here today. It's the 17th of July 2022. Before we get into it, as usual, if I could ask for the favour, and that's if you would please subscribe to the channel, that'd be excellent. Every subscriber helps and is appreciated, so please hit the button if you would. All right, today we're looking at uh, the Chronomaster project and their debut album called The Android Messiah. Now, this is an excellent progressive metal concept album with, with one of those ensemble casts of contributors, contributors sorry, based around a, a, a science fiction story. Now, whilst the concept isn't entirely original, you know, universe invaded, it's on its last legs, who, who's going to save us? Well, the Chronomaster is going to save us and uh, created, as, as I quote, a new generation sentient android and that's going to be sent out into the universe to track down where the invaders have come from and sort it all out, right? Well, the, the story, whilst a little bit cheesy, mm, unfolds musically over the album in fine style. I mean, I, I wouldn't get the slight cheesiness put you off at all because the, the music is bombastic, progressive, symphonic rock with the with with core band assisted by the likes of Mark Bowles, Mike Mills, Amanda Somerville, Marcella Bervio and others playing their characters with as much gusto as, as they can to, to match the music as well. It, 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 it works really well and it's not unlike if you want something to compare it with style-wise then I, I, I guess you're looking at something like Arjen Lacassen's Aryan stuff or Tobias Samet Sabantasia stuff. Similar, similar kind of thing with the ensemble cast and different contributors playing different characters. Big production, big sound. We've got blazing guitars, riffs on solos all over the place. Everything interacting with the keys and the synths and some really excellent vocals, as, as I've mentioned from, from the guests, which, which bring some extra bite to it. Now, to, to me, this album's got everything an album, I, an album like this should have. The, yes, it's powerful and bombastic and progressive, but there's, there's plenty of melody in there and some soulful stuff in, in amongst it all bombast to, to match the, the, the feel of the songs as well, which, which particularly for me mean that the, the contributions from Amanda Somerville as the captain and Marcella Bervio as Mother Universe especially are excellent. I've been a big fan of both of them for years and they, they don't disappoint and no do they here. Indeed, the, the whole album, on the whole album, nothing disappoints at all. Um, you know, e even right from the start, Mark Bowles puts in a fine vocal stint on the mission, which, which is the scene setter to the tale. And after an atmospheric piano-based intro, it develops into a fine progressive slash metal rocker. Some emotional lyrics uh, writ written by Douglas Docker. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's all about the Chronomaster's father sending his creation on its way to save the universe. The, the rest of the album, it's heavy, progressive, sometimes rather gentle, as I've mentioned, to fit the storyline. But overall, it, it's so well conceived, composed and performed, you, you can't really go wrong with stuff like this. As, and as I've mentioned, it's slightly cheesy. Uh, some, sometimes things like this can lapse into complete cheesiness, but this doesn't, just slightly cheesy. But overall, it's an excellent, excellent album. First class progressive symphonic metal, progressive metal attitude, feeling and uh, emotional as well. So I'll put a link to it on Amazon, usual formats available. If you'd like to go and check it out for yourself. I, I like it plenty. Perhaps you will too, so have a look at it. Please subscribe to the channel before you go. That would be excellent. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and take care.